Hi, my name is Gina Gallo. I'm a winemaker here at our family winery up in Sonoma County. Well, gearing up for harvest, we're spending a lot of time in the vineyard, looking at the dirt, the soil, the grapes, being in the different plots, checking the different varietals. Also, reflecting, reflecting on the past, because where we get our vision for the wines is from understanding what happened and remembering what happened last season, the season before. There's a lot of planning as well, but I have to say once the harvest begins, that plan gets thrown out of the window. Well, the days during harvest are probably like someone in a profession that's on call. You never know. I mean, it can't be any longer than 24 hours, but you may have to come in at one in the morning, two in the morning, to check on a certain tank or a barrel. And that's the exciting part, because when you're coming in, there's something you're gonna do to that, and you get to watch the elev evolution of that wine change and staying as close as you can is the importance to those wines. What I really enjoy about Harvest is the camaraderie, the energy of all of us as a team coming together, being on the same page, very focused, moving forward. Because you know what, it takes a lot of us to create the success and make these wines. It's not just one individual, but it's a group of us. And that camaraderie of all of us doing it and understanding where we're heading with these wines, that's the exciting part. The most challenging side of the Harvest is probably, honestly, the challenge that I put on myself or the promise that you make for yourself. I mean, the grapes are gonna change, the season changes, Mother Nature changes, but I think it's all about going in there and really trying to create the best possible wine in that certain area that you can and driving and surviving for that. For winemaking, as far as how much I'm involved, winemaking is really year-round. You're always creating wine. You have harvest, which is two months out of the year, but that's just the beginning. Then the wine is alive, and that's the beginning of its life. You're staying close to it throughout the year. And the closer a winemaker stays to that wine, the more interesting and creative wine they're gonna be able to bring out to the consumer. As far as our family philosophy, you know it began with my grandfather Julio when it comes to the wine and the wine growing. And he always believed that with our family brand, these wines would always be paired up with a meal and people around the table, family and friends enjoying one another. So today, even when I'm creating these wines, it's always keeping in mind dishes, food, making these wines very elegant, but having power of flavor and making them true from the site that they come from. Because that's another thing he really believed in, was the site really gives you the core of the fruit. And you just have to add the value to that. And the better you take care of that site, the dirt, the soil, the better the wine's gonna taste. So it's always keeping an eye to our nature and what God has given us here in Sonoma County.